So um, now take it away, Stephanie. Um, so my name is Stephanie and I am part of a team with Rice University, part of our global health senior design capstone. Uh, my teammates and I are designing um, an efficient pot for low resource settings and we're gonna go ahead and present really quick. Three billion, it's a huge number to conceptualize. To put this into perspective, this number is over one third of our world's population. Yet despite how crazy that number seems, 3 billion is an estimated number of people worldwide who still use open fires and rudimentary stoves for home cooking, such as the one that you can see here. We are Team EcoPot. And our mission is to develop an affordable cooking tool with a user-friendly design that optimizes the use of the local natural resources and time, creating opportunities and reducing the carbon footprint of the local community. Some of our user needs include um, the fact that any potential solutions should be resource efficient in an effort to reduce household pollution and reduce fuel and natural resource consumption. The final product should be affordable to the target population in order to increase accessibility. The design also must be simple and easy to use. And finally, the design should be culturally appropriate and acceptable to the target culture. Next, we'll do a brief overview of the prototypes and tests that we have conducted so far. Next slide. First, we conducted a test for commercially available high efficiency pods. So these camping pods are designed to be specifically efficient in their specifically designed camper stove setup. And we wanted to see if they are effective over an open fire. They have different materials and most importantly, they have different geometries such as fins and heat exchangers. So we have a standard pot or a regular pot, which is the control. Then we have the GSI pot, which has fins. And then we have the MSR pot, which has both fins and a heat exchanger. We attempted an open fire setup or a three stone fire, but due to too many uncontrollable variables, we moved to a gas stove setup, as you can see on the right, where we have an IR camera facing the pot to see how it heats up. And then we have a thermocouple in the water to do a boiling water test. So as you can see on the bottom, those are the times that it took for each pot to heat up. And the GSI pot with the fins outperformed the, both the control pot and the pot that has fins and a heat exchanger. However, because the GSI pot is made out of steel and the other two pots are made out of aluminum, we will need to run another test where all the pots and the control pots are made out of the same material. So that way we can have concrete conclusive takeaways. After testing the commercially available pots, we proceeded to test several of our brainstorm designs. These included a helical vent and double layer pot design, a pot with fins at the bottom, a bunt style pot, and a rib pot to increase surface area. And our final design will likely include a combination of various features. So we tested these pot designs initially using 3D printed thermally resistant high temp resin and onyx carbon fiber resin. So we used a propane camp stove to control the intensity of the flame. In our testing setup, the pot is raised around 10 inches above the burner and filled with 50 milliliters of water. We measured the temperature of the water after four minutes of heating and compared the four pot designs against a standard using a thermocouple and an infrared camera. So this is an example of one of our testing results. Overall, testing yielded some pretty mixed results and unexpected results. Some pot designs like the bunt and ripped performed better than the standard, while others like the helical vein and fin pot performed worse. However, because the results varied so widely and because there were conflicting results between the different trials, this ultimately led us to conclude that using a thermally insulative material likely um, increased the heat resistance and led to larger times for heating. And so overall, we are moving away from using 3D printed material, um, plastic material, and instead using metal and thermal simulations to more accurately model pot differences and optimize a heat efficient pot. 
So the next steps for the team will are, um, so we'll be doing two things in parallel. One is to be transitioning these prototypes and tests to uh, metal 3D printed pots, which we'll be ordering from Shapeways. Um, and that way we can kind of eliminate some of the variability due to um, like the materials and using a thermal, thermally insulated material. Um, and then the second thing is uh, the team has chosen to pursue simulations using ANSYS. Um, and this is because it has unique solution capabilities, which match the kind of design process the team has been using. So here you can see a really simple simulation showing the air velocity profile of a standard pot, um, one that's filleted on the left, and then the one, oh, sorry, one that's filleted on the right, and the one that's not filleted on the left. So with the air coming up from beneath it, simulating kind of like uh, how the air would travel with a campfire beneath the pot. So we create these velocity profiles first because our designs, um, especially ones like the fin pot, the bun pot, and the helical vein pot, focus on improving the airflow pattern around the pots to bolster the heat transfer efficiency. And so after we build this fluid profile, we'll calculate the thermal efficiency improvement from this new airflow, airflow pattern by conducting a convection heat transfer analysis based on the fluid profiles like the ones shown above. And so hopefully with these simulations, we'll be able to iterate and optimize our designs so we can create the best possible product with a high thermal efficiency and also quantify that efficiency through both tests and simulations. So 3 billion people worldwide uh, cook using fires two, three times a day and inhaling that smoke compounds the effects daily. However, even small improvements that we can make in efficiency will yield lasting health benefits in the lives of millions. Thank you for your kind consideration and time. Now we'd like to open the floor to any questions you might have. Okay, thanks. Let's hear it for Team EcoPot. Um, uh, this is such a complicated and interesting project, and it's a bit of a change up from the ventilation stuff. Um, it, may be, it, it may be hard to understand exactly what they're doing, but we, we don't have time to go into to it too much. Maybe we could take one question and then we could refer to them by email later if we want to talk, uh, if you want to talk to the team more. 